Hi, I'm Dr Janet Boltitude, Senior Lecturer in Experimental and Cognitive Psychology at the Centre for Pain Research at the University of Bath. I'm delighted to be joining you at the Australian Pain Society meeting in April, where I'll be talking about my research to do with neuropsychological changes and other sensory changes in people with chronic pain. Many people who uh, work with or do research on people who have chronic pain would be familiar with coming across symptoms or experiences of such patients that don't strictly fit within the diagnostic criteria of their particular disorder. These seem to be more common in some conditions than others. For example, people with CRPS often report that their limb that's affected feels foreign to them and not part of their body. And these symptoms or signs have been described as neglect-like. Uh, now, neglect-like symptoms or hemispatial neglect could be attributed to particular changes in the brain, which is why I'm interested uh, in CRPS, because my background is in cognitive neuroscience. But other things that people might report are things like um, that their vision has changed or maybe that their hearing isn't so good since they have had chronic pain or maybe that they respond to things in their environment in a different way such as um, bright lights exacerbating their pain. These kinds of changes in response to environmental cues have been reported more for, for some conditions than others. For example, in fibromyalgia, um, a visual sensitivity has been documented. So what I'm interested in is understanding these additional symptoms in chronic pain, particularly CRPS, uh, but also in other conditions, and whether they can help us understand how better to treat the conditions. So across two talks, I'll be discussing research that's looking at um, these additional sensory or bodily changes in people with chronic pain, particularly CRPS and fibromyalgia compared to other conditions, and what that might mean for understanding how to treat patients with such conditions, and also um, whether the neuropsychological symptoms that are reported in CRPS specifically um, has really can, can really be appropriately characterised as neglect-like and treated as such, or whether there's actually um, a broader picture that has to be looked at. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone in Hobart and to hearing all the other fascinating talks that are on the program. Um, and I look forward to visiting my hometown um, and seeing you all there.